Maybe it's 3 a.m. Had you on my mind, and it's not the first time we've gone through this. What's good, YouTube? Today we got a new Trippy Red video, and today we're going to be reacting to Trippy Red's new album, A Love to You for Deluxe. So, this is the Deluxe album, it only got eight new songs on it, so we're going to only react to the eight songs. I already reacted to the the total album before in the past you can check it out in a different video but uh this is his deluxe album eight new songs like i said just dropped today we finna get to the track list we're gonna play all eight songs give our opinions on it and uh we're gonna see how it is is, is it good is it trash it's probably good from reading as i already know about triple red triple red he's a fire rapper bruh and he's not really just a rapper anymore he's more like poetic with music uh, he got vocals to sing too. He expands his genres out to to with other features too. So this is gonna be an interesting project because you don't know what to expect from Trippy Red. So the first song, the first song is called "I Love You," featuring Chance the Rapper. So Chance the Rapper is on this first song on the new deluxe. So we finna get into it. Right, it's just a guitar right now. Ooh. That beat go crazy right now. With the guitar in the background over a trap beat, it, it sounds like, I always like that type of style, like how you have an instrument, a handheld instrument play it and they have a trap beat over it. That stuff, that's a really good, uh, Method to, to use beats in a way, in my opinion, because I like the sound of it, it just sounds good. Miss Pearl, who is Miss Pearl though? Now, I'm just trying to see how Chance the Rapper gonna come up on this. I don't really know. This song seems like a song that you would just rap over. So, if he if he actually pulls some more uh melodic stuff on this, bro. I'm gonna be surprised, really. Is this him? Bro, is this, is this Chance the Rapper? What? Wait, no, I don't think it was. I'm about to say, wait, what? It could be. Wait, is that Chance? Bro, I'm so confused. I like his flow right here on this part. Oh, okay, his flow is really good on it so far. Wait, look, hey, hold up. The Chance Rap, he going more hard on this than I thought he would be. Hey, he is going crazy on it. Think about Trippy Red, he put features on songs that you won't expect the, the feature to be able to do. You know what I mean? Like, he, he, he puts features on songs that I guess you could say is not really their set of style. Because you know that song on, on the original album, A Little Letter to You Fall, he had a song with Smoke Perp on this uh, type of melodic song, and I didn't expect Smoke Perp to be on it. Like, to be real, he does that. He put these weird features on songs that you don't really expect them to fit on. Like that French guy on that other song. Yeah, I don't know. To be real, it's kind of creative though. Like, he's trying to let them move out of their comfort zone to do something. Like this, because this right here sounds good so far. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, track number one, I give it, I give it. Now, track number two, The Way, featuring Russ. I know this released like, two, three days ago, but I never listened to it. So, we just gonna listen to it right now. I was looking at you and you was looking at me and we was thinking. Boo, woo, 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 woo. My lips, my stick. This is like a slower tempo song. Alright. It's like he's telling a, a story in a way. Hey, 
it's not bad. He got like a lot of mel uh, mel he got a good melody on this one in my opinion. Russ got a good flow on this too, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, he do got a good uh he do got a good voice on this track. I ain't gonna lie. It's like this track was made for him. <laughs> that drop is crazy. That hook with it too. <laughs> Trippy Red always extend his verses. This song is four minutes. You already know how Trippy Red be. But I don't wanna make the video too long, so uh you know, I think that's a good track so far from what I heard. Russ did his thing, Trip Red did his thing. Good track. I think, I think it was a good track, yeah. And uh, track number three, yeah, oh, we already reacted to that before. We already heard that. Uh, you could watch it in my channel. Just uh, it's, it's probably the last video I reacted to on my channel. So we're going to get on to track number four, How I Raised, featuring Lil Tecca. How I Was Raised, my bad. Yo, I could, I could already tell this track finna be a banger, bro. It's probably gonna be the biggest track out of this whole deluxe. I can just see from the views right now. Everything else is like 70,000, 60,000, but this track is like 80,000. Yeah, this definitely, this definitely feels like a little Tekka type of beat with the 808s. Bro, this track is crazy so far, bro. Yeah, go crazy. Mm. Yeah, 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 this go crazy so far. Trippy Red flow on the beat go hard, man. I don't care what nobody say. Speaking of TK, man, if he was out of jail, he would have been one of the top, man. You see how his name keeps getting mentioned by other rappers? And his name just ain't dying down, bro. So if TK was still around, man, he would have been he would have been doing big things. I mean, he could be doing big things, or he could have just been doing good at a time period and then fell off. But you can never know since he you can't, you can't really know right now because he's in jail and there's nothing we can do about it. Except assume what he could have been. Ooh, hey, yo, we'll take us passing on this. Bro, oh, and then this hook is so hard, man. Man, that track fire, man. Easily gonna be the best track out of here. Cause it's not that I, I think this is the best track out of here. Just like mainstream wise, not really a lot of people. More people prefer the trap, uh, upbeat tempo, the good 808s type of beats for songs and uh. They don't really prefer like the, the emotional singing things as much as the 808s, you know? So that's why I think this song is going to be the best song uh, mainstream wise out of this whole uh, deluxe album. So, next track, my mouth is a little dry right now. Next track, track number five, OTF Nightmare featuring Lil Durk and G Herbo, Chicago rappers. You already know they rap in my city. So he got Lil Durk and G Herbo on it. This is going to be an interesting album. I mean, it's just in track. Nigga won't smoke, let me know some. Lamb truck, roll truck, both of them. I don't think about death. Not. Damn, Lil, Lil Durk coming right off the bat with it. He literally coming right off the bat. And it's crazy because this song has two features. 
plus Trippy Red, but it's only 2 minutes 36 seconds. So, I mean, my opinion, I thought it was going to be longer, but we're going to see how it go. See how they use their time. That was just the intro. I think this is going to be like, like how he made the, the Grinch. <laughs> I can just imagine him in the studio just screaming in his mic, bruh. Bruh. Trippier got so much emotion. Like, you could feel his energy in this. He got so much energy in this song, bruh. Okay, a little dirt. That's true. Everybody gonna be on your dick when you start blowing up, when you start getting them stream numbers. They go ask you for something. Like me when I grow up. I gotta switch on my Glock when I blow it. And I love my killers, they know it. You a bitch nigga. I gotta switch on my Glock when I blow it. Damn, bro. About the porch. Headshot when you walk out of court. I'm from the rack when they murder for sports. Less I've got murder, of course. You ain't gang, gang, gang. You ain't fucking with Yo, <laughs> all right. All right, all right, little dirt. Little dirt is saying, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm guessing that's all his part. He's not gonna be on this anymore because it's only a two, two minutes thirty six second song. Nothing theology Herbal does. You ain't gang, gang, gang. You ain't fucking with us. Go ahead, set your pace and finish. All these chains glisten. Hand them out to my main niggas. Gang, quick to. I right, hear he going. He going. He going subtle right now. Change niggas. I'm not ain't the same. Ooh, yeah. Of course not. Click like bang. You know I ain't learned that. Ooh. Range niggas. Of course. Shit in my face. Mm. Pussy can't hang if you ain't gang. You ain't gang, gang, gang. You ain't fucking with us. Yeah, I think he did his thing though. Like his, his is more like subtle, but like. Jared was always subtle, but it did, it did sound pretty good. And it felt like it was meant for this song. Because it, it does feel like a G Herbal type of beat to me. Alright, that track was alright. No, that was alright. It's nothing too special, but, you know, it's not a bad track. So we're going to get the next track, Even Steven. No features, it's just Even Steven. I don't know what type of song this is going to be, but we're going to see we gonna see for ourselves. Oh, hi. Bro, why should we really be having these weird intros, man? <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are you? I'll tell you a secret. Sometimes I get a little quiet. I meet lots of new kids. Yeah. Don't give a fuck about mama's Yeah, don't give a fuck about mama's grievance. Yeah, pull up with them choppers and I get even. I feel like I heard this from somewhere. I just don't know where. Bro, I don't know, man, because my brothers, they be playing leaks in the cars, man. And I and I don't be like to listen to leaks. You already know that. I don't like listening to leaks. But my brothers be playing songs in the car. So I don't really know if they're old songs or new songs or whatever. But, like, most of the times they be leaks. So I don't know. That's probably where I heard this from. But I did hear this part from somewhere. Get, get even. Mama cry, mama cry, mama cry. That beat go hard. <laughs> like I got no legs, murder, murder. <laughs> I ain't get rough for niggas, nah. Like I got no legs. <laughs> Damn, Trippy ain't even pay for his beat. You heard the tag in the background? Nah, play. He probably didn't pay for this beat. Just left it in. Cause you know how there's a lot of rappers that just like they don't pay for the beat, right? And then record their verse because it sounds fire and they don't wanna like waste their time to pay for it just yet. So they record it like over the free beat and then they pay for it later. So this probably is a pay for. Or I don't, I don't really know the reason. I don't know. That was a weird tag. It's like a chill track. I like it. I like this track. Wasn't President's Day like uh uh this Monday? Last Monday? I, I do like this track. It is pretty. It's a chill track. I can imagine listening to this again. Yeah. Alright, that's just gonna be the hook, I'm guessing. Good track, like I said before. Uh, another thing I want to try number seven, Amazing with three G's at the end, featuring Sababi. I don't know who Sababi is, but we finna, we finna see how he or she 
does on this track. His beat go hard already. You know who he sound like? He sound like the uh, Lil Uzi when he said that. How Lil Uzi? I know one song Lil Uzi was talking about. I like the way she do it. That's how. That's that's kind of reminds me of that in a way. I like this, I like this. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I do like this a lot. Trippy Red going crazy on the hook. This is a good hook. And uh, they did have a good verse too. I hope the feature could carry out with uh, the same way Trippy Red did it. It's okay, bitch, we got a lot of AKs. It's okay, bitch, we got a lot of AKs. It's okay. This is the first time I heard this person, man. I don't know if he saw his microphone sound different from what Trippy was using. I don't know. It sounded like he was whispering though, like you it sounded like he just came up close to the microphone and stuff. It's okay. <laughs> like like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it right now. But twice till I get out. Any second good, you can sit down. Sit down. Uh, he sounded like one of my homies that I know. His name is uh, I ain't gonna expose his name, but he do sound like one of my homies. And this 808 do go crazy though. Yeah, I'm I'm probably adding this to my playlist. I I'm not sure right now. I'm gonna have to listen to these songs again. Because, you know, I'm bad at, like, listening to the songs on the first take, so. So, yeah, I think that was pretty good so far. Now, the last track on the album, Kwa, I think it's called, or Kwe? Oh, I'm not I'm not really sure. It's K-O-I. So, the last song on the album, we can get into it. I like this so far. It's just chill, mellow. I think it's just gonna be mellow throughout the whole song, but it is a good song. He does, Trippie Red re usually does songs like that anyway. All right, overall, I think this was a pretty, pretty solid deluxe album. Wasn't the best, but it was pretty good. I, I do, I probably like almost every song on it, but it was a good one. So I give this uh, seven to eight out of ten. Yeah, seven to eight out of ten. Oh, so one of those would be good. But yeah, that's my reaction. You already know Triple Red. One of my favorites, man. Of uh, this generation. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video everyone knows to support the channel. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.